Okay, let's roll right into our post race for today's ninth annual Fred's 250 powered by Coca-Cola NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race. And we're joined at the front by our race runner-up, and that's Taylor Malsom. He drove the number 32 Outer Wall Chevrolet. We're also joined by our top uh, Sunoco Rookie of the Year candidate. That's Tyler Reddick, who was our pole sitter. He finished fourth, and he drives the number 19 Draw Tight Ford. Let's start with you, Tyler. Uh, let's just talk about uh, talk about your race out there today. And I know you battled some adversity. I believe you had a pit road speeding penalty. You had twice, two times. Uh, just talk about how you battled back from that, and, and we're in the hunt there for the lead there at the end. Well, really, all the all the late caution saved me. Um, there was a stretch there where I lost the lead pack, and our draw type four was pretty much out by ourselves with. Uh, exception of a few other trucks just trying to stay together. Um, so we were in a really bad spot um, there. Um, it, it was it was looking to be a bad, uh, not a very good finish for us, but we had some cautions. We caught some breaks. We took a wave around and had another caution right away, so we were good on fuel. And it was just hit like hitting the reset button. We were good. Um, and we just, you know, with about 15, 20 to go, it was just time to, okay, let's see what we can get from here. We're on the lead lap with everybody else. What can we make of it? And, uh, it was a little crazy. Um, it was really hard to go anywhere until the last lap, really, and um, it, it was great to get hook, hooked up with with, Gal with Spencer Gallagher and go to the wall and pretty much get all the way up to third third for him and fourth for me. So that wasn't it wasn't bad at all. We were running well outside the top ten, and um, it was a great it was a great run to the run to the finish there on that last lap. It uh, really paid off for both of us, and I uh, was really happy to get all those spots back and get a top five finish for our team. We had the pole and. We definitely had a very good truck and just made a lot of mistakes on pit road and uh, cost ourselves an even better run today. And Taylor, uh, just talk about your run out there today. Certainly you uh, had a chance uh, to see what things were looking like uh, up front and uh, maybe just take us through that uh, green-white checker finish. Yeah, the, the gaming outer wall Chevy that was really fast all day. We ran up front all day and didn't have any issues. It sucked up good and led good. So... Uh, on the green white checker, I was committed to staying on the 17, and that's what we did. We pushed him out a little too far and couldn't get a run on him, and almost got passed by a bunch of cars. But uh, we just made it work, and just it's a contestant to the team, and having just a fast truck all weekend. Thank you very much. We'll take questions now for <clears throat> excuse me, either Tyler or Taylor, and uh, if you have one, raise your hand. Stan. Hi, Stan Creekmore with um, Competition Plus. I actually have a question for both of you, separate. Tyler, could you, what were the, what were the two issues that, that led you to speed down pit road? I know you're well practiced at not doing it, but was it just this type of track and what you're doing during the race? That well, really, it was um, just a, a simple misunderstanding. Um, I was going off by, by the what I had marked down in my cock in, in the cockpit, um, what how what, what my lights were, what how fast we were supposed to go, and we end up speeding by one. I mean, they give you five mile an hour, and we were 60.1. So, and the other time we had a speeding penalty, it was the same situation, just one tenth over what they give you, and uh, it was just a mistake on my end, just uh, one light too many, I guess you could say, just going just a little too fast. Um, and then the second time, um, well I thought I had it well low down, um, at, coming down into pit road, it was obviously too much everybody that was with me actually all sped and it was a uh, bad deal for all of us but uh we rebounded back and had a pretty good finish it was good recovery and taylor last lap did did you ever see a moment where you thought maybe i should do this and i could win this race uh once i got he got too far ahead of me going in three and four it was tough to catch back up because i knew <clears throat> the 54 was pushing us tough so if i tried to fan he would just stick with the 17 so uh, it needed to happen a little later in the corner, but uh, we'll take a second any day. We're also joined by a third-place finisher in today's race. That's Spencer Gallagher. He drives the number 23 Allegiant Travel Chevrolet. Uh, congratulations on a good run out there today, Spencer. Uh, how did you think the race went for you? Hey, uh, first thing, what's up, y'all? How you doing? Good to see you. But <laughs> No, um, 
our Allegiant Travel Chevrolet, it's, I had, I had real high hopes starting from practice just because seeing how it drove, seeing how it sucked up, we were tremendously fast. It was absurd. Uh, start of the race, where did we start? We started 21st. You know, the initial plan is stay out of the silly stuff that tends to happen around places like this, ride the bottom. Um, that plan worked for a good while, ended up actually towards uh, about three quarters to recollection, getting some pretty decent track position going, Hang, hung out behind Bubba for a while. Um, Zero five jumped up in the lane. Uh, he kind of at that point the, the top lane pretty much stopped moving, um, but I got uh, sh shuffled back late restart. Uh, that I thought it might have been over from there, but you know the <laughs> the plate racing gods were smiling upon me in in the form of this little guy right here. And we found each other on the last restart, and it was it was like Noah part in the seas, man. These holes on the top just kept opening and opening, and I kept filling them. He stayed behind me, and uh, it's like I told him out there in pit road. I'm pretty sure we were going to make the highlight reel one way or another coming down the front stretch, but I was I was happy to happy uh, finish where we were. Okay. Man, that's silence. That's stunned silence. Oh, it's <laughs> getting back to the questions. Questions for either Tyler, Taylor, or Spencer. I can hear you. Just talk. Go ahead. Let's get him the mic. Let's get Stan, Stanley the mic. Raise your hand, Stan. Hi, Stanley. So I, I, I just have to ask you, Spencer, are you always this calm when you have such a great finish? Only when I finish well. Yeah. That's, that's, um, that's the only time you see this kind of poise and grace out of me. Yeah. But the entire race, were, were you, you were really pleased with everything that was happening? Before I was pleased with the speed, definitely. Um, the track position got a little screwy at times, but, you know, uh, again, just as quickly as you can get shuffled back, you can uh, find the right person and get your way forward. It's, all, all in all, I do have to say I understand now why they call the truck plate race in the best kind. Any additional questions? Jeff Gluck. Jeff Gluck from USA Today for Spencer. What else do you get this fired up about? Well, there is um, funny, funny you should ask. A couple of weeks ago at Kansas, there was a couple things that happened there that, that got me pretty amped up about it. But you know what? It's, it gets me this amped up to see. Can somebody please move that? I, I like to look people in the eye when I'm talking. There, there you are. There you are. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's seeing my team do this well, seeing that from a first-year startup team, we're able to put out the kind of product that we're putting out because it's it's always gratifying to, to see something that you've been with from the start develop and grow like it has. I mean, I get I get pretty excited for a lot of things, I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoy living life on the chip, but this is, this is a pretty good reason, I think.